Alan Edgehead here, and welcome back to Let's Play Splatterhouse. On the last episode, we did, like, the beginning of the game. Now we're going to just finish it up. However long this video may be, we're, we're doing it. Splatterhouse is a two-parter, two-part Halloween special. So let's just jump into it. The house is alive, if you didn't notice. I'm sure you've noticed now. I jumped right into that thing like a stupid game over yet though. I'm on like par to get like another life soon. I think. Oh that was trolly. Okay. Kill these guys. I don't even know what they are. These hands jump out of the brainy goo that is the house. And we just platform. It looks like Rick's barefoot. Don't go down. That down the down way not not a good way to go. The up way is the way I like to go, but I'm probably going to get killed. These little ghosts with the skulls, when they get over your head, they drop the skulls. So, you got to watch out. Yeah, they'll do that. It's not cool. As long as I can get past this screen without getting... Okay, good. It started me in this level again. Even though I technically fell to the bottom. That's something you don't want to do is fall to the bottom. Because the lower way is the sucky way. The sucky hard way. And as long as I don't get game over, we're good to go. Don't even start with me. Get off the screen. Get in the thing. I did it! Oh god, these guys again. Okay, I got a one up. We're good. I'm not gonna get game over. This is great. Pretty sure this is like a meat meat house, but the meat's all weird colors because they don't know why. Okay. Okay, I think I've finally, after as many times as I've played this game, I've figured out a strategy to kill those guys. Yeah, I can't believe it. Recording this for the millionth time and streaming it for the millionth time. I finally figured out a way to kill those guys. I can't believe I got hit by that. Normally you can keep the ones that appear in the back off screen and they just won't jump at you. Sometimes they will. And then you just gotta get ready to punch them. Normally you just need to worry about the ones that are near the front of the screen. Yeah, like that. But now I'm off the screen. We should be at the boss now, and I should be able to take down the boss in three hits, but I don't know. I really love the music in Splatterhouse. She just said, help me, and I talked over it. I'm sorry. Hopefully you could have sort of heard that with my direct audio now. She transforms into a freakish monster with a ridiculous easy pattern. You, when it jumps at you, kick, and it bounces away, and you can't get hit. It's pretty simple. Eventually, you'll have to change that pattern up a little bit. I'm trying to help you, but you're trying to kill me. Okay. Yeah, you just gotta watch out, because when they jump, she sticks her claws out, so you gotta get out of the way before you get that that claw to the face. She has three phases. Now in the third phase, she's gonna start doing short hops. So, uh, you gotta watch out, because this is probably the hardest phase with the short hops. Oh, wait, she didn't do the short hops. What? Oh, there it goes. Eh. 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 That's it. We're done. That was probably the easiest I've ever had with that boss. And, uh, she disappeared. So there's that. And, uh, now we're jumping into the... The insides, the innards of the house. 
it's wherever part of the body where babies are made because we're about to go on a baby house killing spree. This is the hardest level in the game. I've said it a million times. And uh, I will say it a million and one now. You gotta kill these little fetuses before they can become born and hop at you. Because if you let them be born and they hop at you, you're pretty much gonna get hit. And it's, it's hard to avoid when they are born, so you just want to pop them. If they somehow fall back off the screen a little bit, then they won't spawn. So, sometimes when they're far enough back, you just don't have to worry about them. But luckily, things are going pretty swimmingly right now. I'm going to have to hit that one. It didn't go far enough back. Luckily, if they're born, you've got like a... a like a a second before they'll jump at you so you can man that was a hit that I did not want to take right near the end of the stage is this gonna be the cleanest victory I've ever had against this house's heart never mind I might not even victory oh I will victory that's cool. Another edit made from the original arcade version to this version is that heart doesn't explode like that. It actually drops fluid everywhere. And believe it or not, we're in the last the last stage, so I'm going to be bouncing around through here. Hopefully I can beat old Dr. West kidnapper with four hearts. Normally I can, but I don't know. Never mind. It's going to be really good if I could beat him with three hearts. It'll be, have to be a pretty much flawless run. But I really love this music, man. This music, it gets me pumping. For that really... Oh, man, my pinky toe. You kidding me? That missed my entire body and then clips me on my toe. I don't understand the hitbox on that. It didn't hit me that time. So I've got two hits to work with and I think I've got to hit him like doing three more of his like cycles. Maybe two more cycles, I don't know, I'm not sure. Okay, there's one cycle. Then his hands from hell come out of the ground to try to grab you. This boss really makes no sense to me. Oh. Okay, yeah, one more cycle. I've got two more hits. I should be able to do this unless the bricks just dominate me. Okay, I beat it. Yes! That's it. That's the game. That's it! Yes! And that's what happens to the Terror Mask. And the West Mansion burns down. And then we get the awesome music. And the, the credits. But, uh... Enjoy these Halloween-themed uh, uploads, guys. But, uh, I'm Alan Edgehead, and I will see you in Splatterhouse 2. Enjoy the awesome music.